what a place to finish. On camera. Oops. <laughs> I'm with a group of normal riders and I'm testing the Lapierre. Beautiful, look at it. Don't fucking curse. Don't swear. Do you feel wow? It's a normal bike? Well, you think it's an e bike? Very much like a normal bike. This could be the future. It's that iPhone moment where you zoom for the first time. What about the motor then? This is a Fatsua motor. It is transverse, so the motor is actually driving in this direction, rotating like this. There's a gearbox section here, which has a freewheel clutch mechanism in it, and it has very low resistance. You can pedal this bike with the motor on or off, and it feels almost the same. We push in here like this, and the motor pops out. That is the motor and the battery in one unit, okay? It's about three kilos. The motor unit is made up of two pieces. First of all, we have the charging port here. We can remove the battery. That's the battery. It's a 250 watt hour, or 252 to be very precise, watt hour battery. Based on my experience riding, you can do about a thousand meters of climbing with this when you weigh about 90 kilos. So we place it in like this. Should go in very easily. We squeeze it like that. Is that in position? There we go. When you take out the motor, the bike then weighs 15 kilograms. Talking a bike which is the same as a normal bicycle and you can pedal it like a normal bicycle. So essentially you have two bikes in one. So for those who really don't want to let go of the enduro bicycle feel but do want to join the electric revolution, this bike could be the solution. 150 millimeters of travel, this bike, you can do a lot with it. So let's talk about the agility of the bike. Let's focus a little bit more on that. Well, the agility is all about what can you do with a bike on a trail? You approach a very small or very large feature. You didn't see it. What can you do? How can you react? With this bike, you can react and the bike will follow your reactions. You don't need to anticipate quite like you do with a heavier e-bike. And that's a very important thing, especially for the high-end rider who it does not want to ride an e-bike because this is a solution that goes between bicycle and e-bike. It's very, very interesting. 